Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well, I gotta go get this mop chopped off. I'm gonna go back and see if my friends that I did a video on their uh, Barber Sharp RV, see if they're open. Drove by yesterday and they had it closed. So we'll do that, go wash the tracker. We'll see you in a minute. This baby's been sleeping all morning. I've been editing for about the last 12 hours. There's that baby May May. Hey daddy, I'm not sleepy. No, you're, you're kind of restless. <clears throat> Tucker's back here in the back. Good morning Tucker. Hey dad, how are you doing? Oh, it's all good, we're doing good. Let's go down the road. I've been on the phone this morning with a company in, Cal uh, in Canada that makes uh, roof racks for this uh, geo tracker. We're gonna see if we can come up with something that'll hold a, a rooftop tent and me. So kind of wish us luck on that. Not a pretty class A. Pretty, but I, I like what I got. I like the shorter RVs. Kind of warm this morning in Tucson. Oh, wait a minute. Doug, got the heat on. <laughs> I was up in the mountains. <laughs> Life funny. So, I uh, met my friends after uh, I shot that video. The one that has the homemade uh, toy hauler. And uh, they didn't sell it. They come to the other casino. They move from the Desert Diamond over here to the Casino del Sol, nicer casino, uh, nicer, nicer camping. Anyway, it's quieter. And they said uh, there's so much stuff to do here in uh, Tucson. They can't get out of here. I said, tell me about it. I've been here off and on for a month or two. But they were telling me about some hot springs and swimming holes and all kind of stuff I didn't know about. I said, y'all gonna have to be quiet. I said, I don't. I said, I gotta get out of here. Don't tell me about no more places to go. So they're doing good. Uh, he's having to replace the uh, bearings on both axles on that uh, toy hauler that he got. And then I think they're, they're headed out of here as soon as they can. But they've been here for weeks too. Well, my buddy there with the Barber Sharp RV, it's closed down, I can't seem to get him. You may remember my video on this. Really nice guy. I need a haircut. I'll go wash my uh, tracker and see if he's open when I come back. Okay, well I got the tracker washed. But there's something on the side of the road I've been driving by for quite a while that I want to look at. It's a used car lot right here. And it's got an ambulance for sale over here. I've seen this thing sit here for a while. I'll get out and look at it. see a price my guess is late 90s locked up tight got some aluminum oxidation right there don't see that a lot it's a uh, 2000 model and I think the lady here said it had 79 yeah, 79,000 miles. Got the power stroke in it. These are, these are especially made for Nice. Where did it come out of? Um, did it come out from up north? No. I see the oxidized aluminum. Yeah, if you can see, look under clean and cool, it has every spec details on this thing. We can pull it up if you want to. Okay, I'll just take a look around. Okay. I'll go ahead and pull it up. Thank you. Might make somebody a good camper. Pretty clean. Step up here in the back. Talk about heavy duty. A lot of people take these ambulances and convert them into RVs. 
well built. I don't know why this one has such low miles. I leave all the shelving. Oh, my head did it again. Yeah, just incredible had a name once a long time ago. I don't forgot. Probably, I bet this head uh, was like a for a fire department, like a, a fire department ambulance. So I didn't get the miles of like a hospital or a transport company would. It's a good start. I saw one one time. The guy had cut the roof out and added uh, like several feet to it and actually put a bunk up on top. Then he coated the whole thing with bed liner. It was, boy, it was good looking. Where was it? I think it was on eBay. And that thing had um, a gazillion miles on it. I mean, like two, three, four hundred thousand miles. And he wanted to chuck a change for it. I think it was four wheel drive too. This one's two wheel drive. But it's clean. So 2001, not a 2000. That's all the key. Got under seat storage already built in. Wide, widen this out and make you a bed. We've all seen the RV conversions on, on YouTube. I just think it's interesting. It's a little too, too short. But if you're under, if you're under six foot, you could do it. A little pass through. You go to his website. Yeah. He's got other ones for sale too. Um, that's what he does. And, uh, okay. What's the name of this place? Autos del Sol. Autos del, del Sol. Sol. Yeah. Uh huh. What's your telephone number here? Five two zero. Five two zero. Nine eight one. Nine eight one. Four zero eight six. Four zero eight six. So these are the ones he has. And there's a video if he wants to go to cleanandcool.com. Cleanandcool.com. Cool uh huh. And go to installation videos. Okay. Okay. It's going to show you. And that's Everything all about it. Mm hmm. Let's see here. And that price is, you know, I understand. Low, it's in thin. 79. Do you push play? Whatever. That's okay. the video on it. Thank you. Mm hmm. I'll take a look at it more. Gotta love those power strokes. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. What's your name? Maria. Maria has met the wolf pack. She's the, she's the sales lady here. I told her that I was looking for an RV. Uh, for maybe one of you guys were looking for an ambulance to convert over. So if uh, you need to call Maria here, and uh, she'll tell you more about this ambulance if you want one. Sure. So that's Tucker. Hi, Tucker. You're so adorable. That's that's Martini. Martini. And that's baby May Mays. Do you like martinis? Do you like martinis? <laughs> <laughs> they all need haircuts. Oh, that's okay. That's how my dogs are. That's how my dog is. I just you, got him a haircut. You're, you're, you're a sweet lady. Oh, I love doggies. You know, I just love them. <laughs> oh. So well, you're saying you're, you're from Georgia, huh? I'm Georgia peach, huh? That's me. That's the peaches, huh? A rotten, rotten with a rotten core all the way through. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. The thing she was telling me about is that they, she has custom made covers cleanandcool.com but go over these I haven't seen them for the Econoline it's a good fit it's a better fit than mine than I've got clean and cool huh let me take a look at that but she told me to fire it up let's see here that's good miles on a power stroke now. Let you go. Let your glow plugs go. I had one uh, that I converted into a flatbed. Pull the fifth wheel with it. Here, here we go. Check for smoke. Injector seals are holding. Looks about average under there. I didn't see any major leaks. But you know, I didn't crawl under it now. So if this is... If 
Let it, let it run? Yeah. Okay. So this is what you're looking for. Tucson, Arizona. I think the price was 10500 or best offer. Look how clean little Miss Blue came at the car wash. Woo she couldn't believe it when I told her it was a 92. All right. Let's get on about our day, Tucker. Where are we going next? Who knows? Don't have a clue. Well, it's the next day, and I went back by my buddy's uh, RV barbershop. Not open. I don't know what's happened to him. But I got to get a haircut today. So I'm at Big Boy's Barbershop, real close to the Del Sol Casino. I want to get cleaned up. And uh, it's Saturday. I'm going to leave out tomorrow when there's less traffic to get to the Phoenix. That ambulance that you looked at sitting right over there. Here I'm at Big Boy's Barbershop. Yes, Tucker. Phone's on. Camera's on. You need a haircut. Y'all need it worse than me. But uh, I'm going to get it trimmed up. And uh, one last thing. All right. Well, they did a good job on my hair. <laughs> you got me a mohawk. Yeah, every now and then you got to do something a little crazy. You trimmed up my beard for me. Got my stash. Woo! I'm pretty. <laughs> The babies waited patiently for me while we were at the, sh the barber shop. They need a haircut bad. Get a little warm in here, isn't it? Tucker needs a haircut. While I was gone, my friends with the uh, fifth they wheel trailer. Out. Turns out they didn't sell the uh, that, that homemade uh, toy hauler after all. They uh, did like me. They got here in Tucson and got stuck. Doing, there's just so much to do and so much to see. Well, they liked it, but uh, they left while I went to the barber shop, so they're heading on. It's the hardest thing about the road. You make friends and then you move on. But at least I got to see them again. Okay. I'm going to end the little video right here. <laughs> I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. We'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye.